uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to talk about uh, the integration integration of api gateway with lambda in deep down so let's uh, see we already have one lambda created and we need api gateway for that so api gateway is here we'll just create new one because we don't have api gateway created we just want http rest apis okay let's get it uh, started new api okay now once api gateway is created we can create a resource let's say user and on the user resource we will create a method which is http get and now if we talk about the integration here integration points are like you can talk to aws service you can talk to http so http endpoint is like you already have some internal api endpoint you want to do, to call this from this api gateway or you can also do the mock request so if i do the save and if we talk about this request response cycle now you you will see this kind of a screen right what it does is you can also test it and you will get some success response no data this is response header response body and you will get 200 right so this is the mock request just for getting to know what is this request response cycle contains so here we see method request integration request integration response method response right so whenever you write rest apis it's not like okay you just create http get you have to deal with a lot of things you have to deal with the query parameter request parameter request body right response body response template all these things you can customize so if you think about simple node.js rest api you have to do a lot of other things if you want to handle the the request parameter query parameter right if, if you want to validate the request in the payload if you want to validate the headers all these things so that is covered in the request response life cycle currently we are just uh, we can test it this test can represent any or front end client here we are making the request okay this is the method request and here we can customize a lot of things so this is the request validator and it can like you can validate the body you can validate the header all these things you can do validate query string query parameter so it's like a gatekeeper if you are not able to validate here then you will not be passed api key if you have set an api key at the global level like you have set the api key from here that means the api key is required otherwise you will not be passed through this api query string and string parameters http request headers request body all these kind of validations you can do here so this acts as a gatekeeper okay what it is doing is it is validating your request parameter request headers request body all these things are happening here like you can set a header and you can capture the value here a lot of other things you can do so this is acting as a uh, here you can also set a mo model model name is you have to create a model name uh, like model name means i need a username password or email in the request body so you can just create a model and you can set the models here so here you can create a models like you can create there are two models right now empty or error but you can create your own new model this is used for request validation like in the request there must be username and password so you can do that okay let's uh, go back to our gateway and this resource which is integrated with the mock so this is your integration request now integration we already know that you can integrate with the lambda http endpoint or mock or vpc link or aws services and this is the template okay so what this templates do is if you want to do some kind of a transformation in the request what you are getting from the request uh, http client request to whatever you are receiving in the lambda so all those things will happen here so you can add a mapping template uh here i think you can configure a template so generic template is method request pass through or you can also create your own mapping template and save it content type header it is just doing a simple mapping so application json it's just a mock request right so what this mock request is doing is it is just sending this template back to us we will we will think more about this when we are doing integration with lambda but it's a mock request whenever you are testing it it just what it is doing is it is just returning you the 
200 response status right now if if i change this integration to a lambda then we will be able to explore more on this so integration request if i change it to lambda and we have lambda created hello node js save uh, wait a second let me refresh it and we i think we already have one lambda created Okay, so we are overriding with this. Uh, hello, Node.js doesn't exist. Okay, let me see the lambda. I think I changed the lambda name. So our new lambda is my first lambda, and let's deploy this. So we can just test this template. And we can deploy this. So this should be available and we can also test this. It's doing nothing, it's just uh, giving us these logs, that is fine. Now if I'm doing integration with Lambda, I have to just set this lambda to something else. Now we are able to see the my first lambda. And it's like I need to go to integration request again and have to reset it. So I don't see a save option. Okay, yeah, this one. So I'm just replacing the lambda definition. Now we can actually go to the integration request and see. So here now we can see all different options, right? Earlier we were just seeing a uh, few options, right? Uh, here we can see query parameter templates, HTTP headers, mapping template, right? So mapping templates, you can actually define your own templates, right? and mapping templates so when we run this then we should be able to populate the template this is actually a transformer this acts as a transformer whatever you are getting in the request code you want it in the different format so that your lambda can receive the same object that we can do okay so now let's go back so this is now targeting to this integration response so here we just added a 200 as a status code and finally the method response right 200 now let's see this in more detail request response lifecycle uh, with the integrations in the next video